I introduced you, you know, I was thinking this will be for the gearheads out there. You know, the mm -hmm. people want to be mechanical engineers or some yeah. sort of product designer. But now we've also started hitting on urban design mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we know that urban sprawl is a problem with uh, cars and gasoline. And yeah. Eventually, you know, that might come back to haunt us because if the stocks of gasoline go down, there's not as much travel. Right. Cities may contract, but now all of a sudden we have uh, our artists actually thinking not only of designing these uh, uh, the cars for the system, or actually components of the cars, but mm -hmm. now actually, well, right. we can design the city to work with the cars, to work with the transport system. So exactly, um, yeah, and nice, that's nice that, possibility. That harkens to these traveler stations. I designed these two, <clears> and, and this other one behind me. It looks like a Roman theater, amphitheater, um, but there's eighty of these things in the Detroit Ann Arbor system. There will be tens of thousands of them on the U.S. system. They all need to be designed. They're all going to be unique and they'll all be different. This represents jobs for generations to come, mm. people building these things over the next 10, 20, 30 years. There's going to be all these new buildings built in the civil engineering side uh, and the local communities have the right to say, well, we want our building to look like our local stuff. Right. So there's an opportunity for an artist right there to yeah. work with local uh, urban planners, civil planners, right. and municipalities. So our artists will not only have just mm -hmm. uh, car design, but also urban plan. It's, yeah. uh, we hope that you consider that. Uh, it looks like a, an upcoming field. Uh, green technology is very important for the world now. Uh, yes. Is there anything else we can talk about here, Justin? I mean, well, I just maybe get back to the point of, uh, of how art enables you to communicate. Oh, very good. Um, really, it, it starts out with an idea. Everything we ever do as people always begins with an idea somewhere, somehow, some inspiration. And as a man who studied very carefully and deeply the religious texts of the world uh, and take it very seriously, inspiration is precious. And artists have a gift to actually express that more than the other people. And I've got a lot of respect for that. And, and as I know how hard it is to do a drawing. And, uh, and it's worth the effort to refine those skills if you have those skills. Because you're going to give somebody the ability to express themselves because they can't. They don't have that artistic ability. Mm -hmm. And in business, it's paramount. Uh, package design is everything. And if you get into the business of doing ads, doing commercials, doing um, you know, stock art, uh, well, it's just a very large industry. And, uh, and it all boils down to somebody has some form of mastery of generating an image. And listening to somebody like me, who's more of a businessman, engineer, who can do, you know, I, obviously I sketched all these before I hired Chet to make them look better. But uh, that's a sign of success where a businessman who's got some artistic skill needed to hire a professional. <laughs> so okay. I did. Yeah. But, uh, um, so no matter whether you're just starting out with basic hard work or, you know, it's not, what's more important is the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you can capture an idea with a basic image, even if it's on a napkin, you can create something that will change the world, whether it's for art or for humanities or medicine or anything. Um, if you're an artist, just please take the time to clear your mind and to get a blank sheet of paper and be prepared for inspiration to hit you and then put it down on paper. If, if you miss that inspiration, uh, you, you just have to wait for the next time. But have that blank sheet of paper available so that when inspiration hits you, you can start to draw. And keep drawing. Keep practicing. Uh, Justin, a wonderful note to end on. I, Thanks, love, I love inspiration. That's what our, our folks need uh, yes. to keep going. And hopefully uh, they'll get uh, a really nice message out of this. We went into a lot of detail business-wise, uh, you know, how the business is going to operate. Yeah. Um, my cat paid us a visit. Yeah, that was kind of nice. That was a nice touch. We haven't had that one yet. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think uh, our folks will appreciate that there is a lot of uh, design, a lot of thinking and uh, creativity here that Justin got everything running with, with uh, uh, his abilities and his, his thoughts of what he'd like to do for the country and the world in the future. And Wonderful presentation, Justin. Thank yeah. you very much, and best of luck. Thank you very much, and hopefully in our next interview we can bring Chet Johnson, the guy who took my sketches, and and have him, he's a funny guy sometimes, have him tell you what it was like to take my terrible sketch of work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know some of it's good, but it's terrible, well, and and turn them into beautiful drawings. Well, that's an aspect we hadn't thought about with our nonprofit, but it might be worth a video. I mean, just to hear what this gentleman has to say. Right now, what we're going to do as well is uh, 
Justin, you said you'd provide us with some sketches. Yes. And at, at the end of the, the uh, last part of this series, how many we have up, uh, we come up with two or three, uh, we'll actually include a shot of one of your original sketches and uh, the finished artwork that his artist Chet came up with. It could be that you might decide, uh, you know, I can do this, I can sketch this, I can create, but uh, you might, some of you might decide to move to the tube and actually do the finished artwork. That's good too. Um, so we'll have that. Uh, we're also going to direct you to uh, Justin's website. A lot of really uh, interesting stuff. So uh, thank you very much and good luck with all of your artwork. All right. Take care.